Okay, we start this uh, section of uh, gravel road. Not as bad as I thought. Well, it's not very good either, but we'll see. We'll see you we'll, when we have the first uh, truck encounter. We will see how this feels. Look at the dust behind us. Boy, that's what you're getting. All right, we've been on the road for maybe 10 kilometers and I'm just gonna have a quick look at the, you know, make sure everything's still attached. It's pretty bumpy, but it's not overly crazy. Um, I gotta actually look at the trailer here. Pins, pins, pins. I checked all this before we left, just making sure everything's still a-okay. Um, our hook is still in. That hook that holds the awning in over here, it's really little in the background there, is getting loose. Wow. Join me. Yes, Fine. I'm trying to be brave. She's I'm going to quit any time though. Yeah, I see a big guy flying around. Anyway, like uh, I was just telling them we're doing a quick, just a walk around to make sure everything's okay. <laughs> I might put that guy away. I keep this clear one on just for laziness, mm -hmm. but I think I'm going to take that off and put it away because if a big stone hits it, mm -hmm. it might crack. In fact, no, it's not cracked. That's just a light. Yeah, I'm going to take that off. There's no need to have that hanging down. All right, I'm going to grab... Uh, it's it's pretty dusty here. I'm just going to barehand it. I won't make you watch that. I'll do that in a minute. I'll finish the walk around. Great. Um, huh. Everything looks good on the back. Mostly I wanted to see the stone guards, if they got any dings yet. I'm kind of looking for some dings of glory on the stone guards. Uh, but everything looks fine. All the tires are fully inflated. That's important. All the pins are still in on this side. Looks good. Awesome. Okay. Great. And there's a black fly on the screen. I'm going to give this back to you and go take care of that one thing I said. Okay. We are jiggle jiggling up. <laughs> a long hill. Can you tell? Probably in the video it doesn't really show how jiggly I am. Yeah, the camera's uh, it's taking out all... What about I reverse it? He's very focused on driving. I'm focused on helping. <laughs> Not doing much. No, it's true. Uh, I'm really focused on uh, avoiding keeping the trailer wheels and the car wheels out of any big holes, which they're not many, honestly. It's just a regular gravel road. It's not too ripply. Sometimes gravelly roads get ripply. Yeah. Uh, this one's not bad for that, because that's really, uh, there's some right there. Uh, that's pretty hard on the everything. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I can't really look behind me in the camera, but if a truck comes hauling ass, 70 90 kilometers behind me i want to be over safely as far as i can get and just get out of his way that was the advice i read and i think it's wise so uh she's helping with that and i'm just watching the road close for holes and far to make sure when i you know because i'm using the whole road here to make sure i'm out of the way when i need to be which so far we've passed two trucks one truck one truck one truck so. yeah we don't pretty, see it's any. Empty here. Yeah, we don't see any car in front of us or behind us. Uh, that's so how that's, I like it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And uh, the trees are odd, ugly beauty, kind of odd sense feeling. That's pretty much our speed. We don't try to reach seventy here which is the speed limit, we're slightly under. Oh, there is, oh my God, we saw two, we saw, we see two cars, two cars. It's precious. Spotting cars and spotting birds. Definitely more birds than cars. Goodbye, civilization. 
Okay, so I said there wasn't too many of those ripples on the road, and no sooner had I said that than we had to pass an oncoming truck, and I had to go over to the side, and <laughs> the whole rig got shook real good. So we're going to have a quick look yeah. and make sure that all the cupboards are closed and that everything's fine inside yeah. before it's all bouncing all over the place. Yeah. You want to go in first? Yeah. Okay, yes. Yes, you're going to go in first. Three, two, two one. one, go. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no. Open the door. Open? Open the door, quickly. What? Oh, the, the smash. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, so I was a little slow to come in because uh, Jen had to deal with this. This was full of alcohol. So this had uh, somehow, I did my best to put this so that it wouldn't come Everywhere. open. The lid was on off but it, uh, it opened and leaked everywhere. So we're gonna get that cleaned this up. This has to go here, probably. And uh, yeah, we'll probably keep that here from now on, which is a spot we used to Ugh. keep it, but we recently started to put it in an alternate location. Okay, we'll get cleaned up. It's pretty smelly in here. Hmm? Found one little pop rivet in the cabinet. Maybe a few more of those coming up. This is also a good test of some of our driving tech this is our holding the shelves closed technology. And you can see that this pencil on the ripples must have popped out. But the other three are good. Oh, so no, no, the one underneath. You can probably cannot reach till you under. Popped inside. Oh, he popped in. Yep. Weird. Okay. So this guy also popped to where he's not no longer effective, which is interesting. So I'm, glad. So we're, big, I'm glad we did the big I, check. Your wormwood broke off. But oh. just the tip. See your wormwoods there? Oh. Bummer. Just the tip. The I don't know where. Oh, because it's a. I think this thing keep hitting it. Probably, yeah. Ah. So we got a wounded okay. wormwood. Go here. Um, stay tuned for there's more. No, that, okay? There's no cabinet that's open. I really thought oh, that that's all great. the cabinets and the drawers are gonna that, be open. That's more of a shake than a. I think, you remember we were side side? I think that's what opens the cabinets, but I'm okay. not sure. I'm I don't not know. sure. I don't know either. We're going to keep checking and we'll learn more. And everything in here looks good. Your mask fell on the ground. Mask is also for when she does wormwood. Again, stay tuned for more about that. And we're ventilating the place. Okay, your back here looks pretty good. Oh my. Cabinet stayed shut. Ignore the socks. <laughs> okay. Pretty good. I think this is Have pretty a quick good. Look in here. Yeah. This, this has been doing well. We put all the water in here. This is our dead soldier. We used this one and we've got these ones. We're using those first. The socks didn't fall. They're drying on the line here. Great. So this area here was all full of alcohol. We did get a little ripple here from the moisture. I'm glad we stopped right away. It's really, it's really small. And we couldn't, some may have penetrated under here but we can't really do anything about it. And it's alcohol, it's gonna dry quick, so we're not gonna worry about it. Uh, so everything up here is pretty dry. I see a few droplets in the back here still. I'll just get those and we'll... Again, it's gonna dry, evaporate really quickly because it's alcohol. And uh, the trailer is starting to smell more normal. We had I couldn't plastic. breathe when I first came in. We had plastic down, which may have helped a lot. Uh, it was holding quite a bit of it. I don't know, it didn't do fully do its job, but, uh, sorry, but it did, uh, the video's awful here, but I'm just flipping it over so the other side can dry. And I've got a hung on the door here. I should have let you hold the camera. That was pretty, pretty shady camera work, but this is gotta be independent, off. dude. And here <laughs> we go. All right, so we're, we're all packed up, up here again with the um, alcohol bottle. Now move to the safety of the been down here in retrospect where I should have put it in the first place and we're ready to roll. 
see how this holds up. We are heading towards the reservoir. Manicouagan Reservoir. Oh, look, spot. I'm glad we didn't drive down this narrow little trail. <laughs> We're just walking down. I, I'm soaked in deep woods, and so far nobody chased us. I'm also soaked in deep woods. And yeah. yes, the bugs seem not too bad right now, touch wood. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really pretty. Did you see this little side trail? Oh, yeah. Didn't pay attention. Oh, and there's what a little the... wire fence sometimes here. Yeah. It's currently not up. Hmm. Oh, there's an outhouse in there. All right. I'm going to do some bird ID. We see many cars here. There's a golf. There's a gull. Looks like a ring bill. Hard to say though. That's a yellow warbler, I think. You saw him? No, just the call is really close to us. They sound like airplanes, but they're actually just trucks. Yeah. Is that a viri? That was a viri. Two That's viris. not viri. That's a Swanson 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 yeah. White tummy thrush. on top. <laughs> this guy had a little chat with us. So he's just going a couple hundred feet down the road to his camp, which is hidden off the road, he said quite cleverly. But he just ride in the boat when his friend brings the boat out of the water. So they're obviously here to fish for the weekend or whatever. Could be an A-class. There is a bus from Labrador? I don't know. It's an A-class, you're right. Yeah, it's an A-class. Oh, big. No, it's a, huh? bus. it's a bus. It's a bus. Oh. It's the bus from Labrador. So he actually hit a construction with a little stoplight and a and a flags person uh, and uh, there's even a, a, a follow vehicle like a lead vehicle or a whatever you call that so we're just following through a construction zone the uh, I know there's an English word for that but uh, anyway we sweep a Sevilla good right now <laughs> we sweep all sorry <laughs> This is actually quite intense, intense construction. Oh, yeah. sorry. No, no, no you, you have better English. Intense Go construction zone here. We didn't initially understand why we need to follow the vehicle. It was nothing going on, but now suddenly there's plenty going on. Uh, piles of dirt by the road with people like really close to the road and machines, which hopefully won't hit me. Thank you, machine. You're very friendly and pretty bumpy, pretty not in the best shape, so no wonder they're working on it. Cool. And, uh, but passable. Um, I think I've said this a few times, but the road has to be kept in good condition. I think it's the only road in the Labrador. I think I read that somewhere. So, yeah. Oh my god, it's moving! Oh, cool! Oh my god! Don't you want to drive that thing? Yeah, I love those. And the sound of those, but they... The metal tracks sound like a tank, though. They're really scary. If you watch Saving Private Ryan, it's a pretty terrifying sound after that movie. to be 
true. We're having a, I hope, not too brief patch of pavement. Is it because the Rene Gabriel is coming off? I don't know. Oh yeah, we're really close, two kilometers away. Yeah. We're going to be going down for a while now. Look Ooh. at this descent. Wow. Fun. There's Relay right there. Oh, see it, see it. Tucked in the valley here. Guess. Next one is 250 kilometers from here. Okay. okay. 245 for ordinaire. We're just over a half tank. We'll take it. That's a great deal. Beats walking. <laughs> right, that's the old, that's the alternative. <laughs> I, have, I I had some hope. But I thought the Relay Gabriel is a small town. It is. Look. Oh yeah. No, that new village is the replacement. I think it looks pretty new. This is pretty run down. But um, this is not a town. This I've is... been dreaming about this. This has been my sort does of Does this fit point. your dream? In your dream, does really Gabriel look like this? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I, I saw it on the satellite view, so I kind of... Oh, okay. Oh, there's the guy, the wide load, who went through last night. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. Do I need garbage to throw? <laughs> See how dusty this is. Oh, my God. I'm not sure how dirty this is. This is all sand. Road dust. This is so dirty. Here o'clock. We've arrived at Relay Gabriel. Is it the... Huh? No? We're oh, way past, past Rene it. Gabriel. We're past it. Way but past. The zone. The zone. We're in the Manicouagan. Uh, way past. Way past. 100 That's kilometers? It. Not that far. No, 50. No. 50 kilometers past. No, a maybe. little bit. A little bit. Yeah, past. a little bit. But we're at the Manicouagan crater. We're in the northeast corner um, across from the Mont Gru through hike. A grueling 42 kilometer hike that we're not going to do. <laughs> maybe ever. Maybe someday. No. <laughs> anyway, we're that. here. We're in the crater. We've got this beautiful campsite next to a little um, ruisseau, a little creek, a brook, whatever. Mm -hmm. And um, not too far from us is the Manicouagan Reservoir. And we are going to wake up stinking early tomorrow. So sunrise here is 4.30 mm -hmm. tomorrow. Uh, I'm trying to shift my day right Four. now. Right now it's six, seven-ish, seven o'clock. I'm getting ready to go to sleep. It's a little bit awkward, but uh, you know, I, I cannot go to sleep at a regular time and get up at four. I'm yeah, gonna... yeah. But it's necessary because when we did the research, it looked like the weather here was gonna be really cooler. Yeah. You know, highs were like 20 maybe, and you know, maybe teens. I was ex with yeah, expected like a teens, teens as a high daytime, and a nine times five, ten. Lower is okay. Single digits, Higher low is single not digits. okay. Consequence the bugs are out, and the bugs here are fierce. Even and baby okay black flies. She hates baby bugs. Baby black flies she hates still bugs. bite. I, I don't care. I go camping, I just dope up. But here would be like double dope. Like you just carry that with you and be ready to spray. Right up. Like they have big, big deer flies. They've got tons of black flies, which are smaller but still ferocious. Mis and when they go to sleep, the mosquitoes come out fierce. So, but I noticed this morning when I was out, very few bugs. It's still pretty cool in the morning. So, we're going to shift everything forward, get some great birding in, hopefully, avoid the bugs. We'll still dope up for safety. But, uh, and honestly, I don't think I will have an issue fall asleep. My eyes can barely stay open. I'm pretty tired too. It was a pretty fun, but... Uh, intensive drive. Intense drive, yeah. yeah. Intense. Lots of dirt road, lots of up-down, lots of zigzag. The trailer was, is so dirty after. All yeah, the so dust, dusty. 
all the dust and the little metal uh, shreds, like yeah, shavings, little shavings, uh, aluminum yeah. shavings, just were stuff rubbed, I guess, because the whole thing was. We gave the airstream the vibration test. It did pass. We only saw one rivet, popped one rivet. Yeah, this is the intensive, the most intensive uh, yeah. vibration yeah. test. Yeah, and for, uh, so far for how many kilometers? Probably a hundred too. I'll check it out, but I, not 200, 100 maybe yeah. of dirt road. of uh, And reasonably good condition dirt road. I do have to say it wasn't, as, as dirt roads go, it was not in poor condition. We were not slogging along at 30 kilometers an hour. We were able to cruise most of it 50, 60, sometimes even 70 kilometers an hour when it was mm. safe. Anyway, we're here. Yes. All right, so when I was making breakfast this morning and I turned on the stove fan, this is what I heard. Mm. Yeah, pretty sick sounding. And uh, I, didn't, I didn't actually think it was sick. I had the oven running at the same time down below, so I thought it, I just didn't hear it right. Anyway, I think it's all choked up with sand because lots of other parts of the Airstream were choked up with sand. So I want to have a look. See if I can. Oof, that's pretty sealed up. I'm not sure what I can do there. So maybe I'll look at it from the outside when it's less buggy, which is this winter. <laughs> it's, it's June. We can reach it? No, do I, have to take I can just see the if there's hood? sand in it, but uh, oh, okay. there's not much I can do in here. This is really sealed. I'm not going to get into that out here in the middle of nowhere. So that that'll be that. Maybe we'll run it and see if it blows out. I don't know. Sounds pretty grindy. Pretty grindy. <laughs> Try some percussive maintenance. Oh. You won't explode away. It might. <laughs> okay, I don't think I'm helping. That's not right. Okay, <laughs> well, we'll see what happens. <laughs>